Hi, and welcome to the second half of Engine 131 for 2019. Now, it's likely that you're going to want to do some development on your own machine. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft's Visual Studio Community 2019 edition. So just from the website, if you find the Windows link, under there you will see a link called Visual Studio Community from Microsoft. And if you click on that, you will see the Download Visual Studio button. Now, clicking this is going to download the installer file, and you'll need to run that file in order to actually complete the installation of Visual Studio Community. Now, in my example, I've just stored that file on the desktop, so you can see the file here. If you double-click that installer file, that will begin the installation process. It's just going to confirm which modules you want to install. So it's really important that we install the modules that allow us to write C programs. So if you click on the desktop development with C++ um, option, you will see a whole bunch of default um, tools installed. Make sure all of the defaults are selected, so MSVC, Windows 10 SDK, and so on. So if you just accept those defaults, um, it should be fine. And when you click install, that will then begin the full installation process. And so you might have to be a little patient uh, for this to finish. So once we've installed um, these modules, then we're going to go ahead and create a very simple C program just using the Visual Studio um, developer command prompt tools. It's important to note that that installer file, we don't need it anymore, so let's delete it. So we'll just get rid of that. Okay, so now let's write our very first C program. So let's now launch the Visual Studio Developer Command Prompt. So I'm going to select this from the Start menu. It's Developer Command Prompt for VS 2019. If we launch this, we get a window that looks like this. If you type CL and see basically this output, then everything's ready to go. So let's create a new folder on the desktop, and I will just call this uh, My First Program. And what I'm going to do is inside that folder, now I'm just going to create a text file. So I'll select New Text Document, and I'm going to call this hello.c. Notice I'm deleting that .txt extension, and I'm calling it hello.c. And I'm going to open this text file with a very simple editor called Notepad. And this is just a really basic text editor. And now I'm going to type in the source code for a very simple C program. This program is just going to print out uh, the words hello world to the console. So once I've finished typing the source, I'm going to make sure I save this source file. And what I'm going to do now is um, copy the location of that source file. And here I'm just going to right click to paste that in to the command window. So the command is cd and then the path to that source file. And I've just put quotation marks around this. Notice if I type dir, you can see that hello.c source file is in the directory. The command to compile this is cl w4 hello.c, and you'll see that I do have the hello.exe file created. And if we type hello, we see the output from the program, hello world, as we expect. Okay, so let's just close these windows. And now we're going to launch the Visual Studio graphical environment. So we're just going to select Visual Studio 2019. And this will launch Visual Studio. Uh, I'm not going to uh, sign in, so I'll just select not now, maybe later. And I'll just go with the default color theme, which is going to be blue. And so... Once this is ready to go, let's go ahead and create a new project. And um, it's really important we select the right template. Let's select Empty Project from the Project Template menu. Don't select Console App. Make sure it's Empty Project. And we should give this a, a name other than the default. So I'm going to call my project Hello World. And I'm just going to store that on my desktop in a folder called My First Program. Now, once that's created, because it's an empty project, we're not going to have any files associated with the project. I'm just going to move my Solution Explorer over to the left-hand side. You can configure the graphical environment in any way that you like. Let's right-click on Source Files and select Add New File. And I'm going to select the C++ file template, but I'm going to name my file hello.c. So that's really important. I've called my file hello.c. 
And this will then show that hello.c source file in the integrated editor that Visual Studio provides. And so now it's just again a case of typing in the source code for my program. Once again, this program is going to be really simple. It's just going to print out hello world. And so once we have typed the source code in, then we are just going to, similar to before, build this, you know, compile it and then run it. But we build from the build menu, we select build solution. And as long as there are no errors, which in this case there don't appear to be, then from the debug menu we can select start without debugging. That will run the program. And once again, you can see that the output here is exactly what we expect. Hello world.